Well, I grew up in Lexington. Uh, I wasn't born here. I was born in Missouri, but we moved here when I was six. I started drawing at a very early age, but I had no idea that I would have a career in that. Um, it was a very wonderful childhood in Lexington. And then at the U University of Kentucky, there was uh, a graphic design instructor by the name of Jim Foos. And he, uh, I took all of his classes, and I'd already majored in all these different things. And um, he started calling me the illustrator of the class in his graphic design class. In a, in a way, telling me what he thought I was. And I respected him, and he was a talented watercolor painter. And he not only told me what I was, he showed me. He started bringing his illustration annuals, because I'm like, What's, well, what is an illustrator? You know, what do you really mean by that? Well, you go into the art building, your, your, your classmates are a different kind of group than maybe in your business classes and all that. So I think it's a well-rounded thing. And I think that contributes to a career in illustration or in art, you know. Yeah, so the, the whole colorblind thing is, um, it, I never talked about it until like two years ago. Um, it's for two reasons, I never, I didn't, I worried that somebody wouldn't hire me. I didn't want to bring attention to me, you know, how could I complain about being colorblind when somebody else is blind? So many people overcome bigger obstacles than this, and it is an obstacle. So my, mo my mother helped me. We discovered it um, when, I, when I was just getting normal glasses, and all of a sudden it started making sense. Yeah, wait, is Ken are the Kentucky Wildcats purple or blue? Well, they're blue because I live here, and they say go big blue, you know? But it looks purple to me. Um, so the way I deal with it is I get people to help me uh, check my work. I like working with my hands, getting my hands dirty, and I like the human error that, that just keeps happening on every painting and every book. And I want people to feel my art, and I want them to see how it's hand created and not perfect. And one of my first big breaks was a call from Time Magazine. And I illustrated um, for Time Magazine maybe a dozen projects over the course of five years. And then I started getting calls from Time, Sports Illustrated, Atlantic Monthly, Wall Street Journal, Reader's Digest, and I thought I had arrived. You know, Time Magazine could call anybody on the globe, and they were calling me in Cincinnati area um, to do a portrait of Bob Dole when he ran against Clinton for the president. So these people in New York started looking at me as this middle American painter, and I was the only one in the illustration field in the 90s, one of a few that was doing this American regionalist look. The publisher started seeing my magazine work in New York, and then they started calling me to do book covers. About that time, Madonna, the you know, singer, um, the rock star singer, uh, the Material Girl, Madonna, wrote uh, a handful of, of books, picture books. It was right about the time when she had her daughter. And she wrote a story called Mr. Peabody's Apples. And of all things, she chose me. Um, it's not like Madonna knew who Lauren Long was, but the publisher shared my work with her. And she chose me because of that American regionalist feel. And that was a big break, not because the Madonna book changed my life, because it was this famous woman, but because she was a famous woman, every publisher on the planet knew all of a sudden who Lauren Long was. So I was kind of off to the races on a, I got there a little quicker, you know, with some, with some uh, you know, entry into children's illustration, the children's picture book uh, illustration world. Which, by the way, after about 16 years of it now, after this amount of time, I can tell you, is the greatest place in my mind and viable to make art for um, a living, to make pictures. My work pretty much is dedicated to children. And I can think of a lot worse places to dedicate one's life's work.